Rex and Noah engage in a prank war that Rex started. But when Rex has had enough of Noah's antics, he turns to Bobo Haha -Ha for help, only to reject his offer, until Bobo falls for one of his pranks. Now Bobo and Rex prepare for the ultimate prank against Noah in hopes of finally defeating him once and for all. Now this story is a bit of a mixed bag. Don't get me wrong, my team and I were very amused by some of the reoccurring jokes, but there's nothing super engaging here. Just Rex trying to get back at Noah for all the pranks he's had to sit through in the first act. And it takes until when Bobo shows up for the story to finally gain some direction. We're led to believe that Bobo is the true king of all pranks, to the point he's been banned in six different Asian countries. But none of that amounts to Noah's expertise. All those little blonde kids are evil. Especially by the end of the episode. And it's funny seeing Bobo surrender his title to Noah after losing to him. I bow before your awesome might. I loved a lot of the references they snuck through, including the reference to the Dark Knight. That was honestly one of the most hilarious gags this show has ever done. The animation and music were very impressive, as the characters had a ton of fluidity, including for some of the more lunar moments, and the music matches the vibe of how comedically weird this setting is, so props to the team for making this visually stunning. Despite the performance, however, this was a disappointing episode. Not just because of how it's unlike anything we've seen from Generator Rex, but because of how everything felt off. Yeah, it's nice to see these little character moments while we can, but you can't help but feel something isn't right. And it's one of those scenarios where you can tell the staff was trying to save their budget and kill time before we approach the bigger episodes. And it's not just the story that suffers. A lot of the background settings and even characters were all reused assets from earlier episodes, which I appreciate this level of continuity, including reusing footage from Rex's favorite soap opera. In fact, they make more use of their new base than they have prior, but it was very strange to see how there's so many reused elements Limits compared to any other episode, let alone how little characters were part of the story. It was mainly centered around Rex, Bobo, and Noah, with brief appearances from Dr. Holiday and Claire, who's now Noah's girlfriend. Huh, I guess that second day worked out after all. Luckily, nobody felt off. In fact, these characters were the same as ever, and this episode proves you can tell a Generator X story without all the action. But it's bizarre to see how little action there was when this show is primarily known for how action-heavy and story-driven it is. Despite all the mixed thoughts, if you're down for a prank war between friends, let alone a light-hearted comedian story, then it's definitely worth your time, especially with the twist at the end. We give Guy vs. Guy a 4 out of 10. Never take anything from my lab again.